Hi guys, this is Gal Ginny Makes. I hope you're all well and I'm back with another video. And this what I wanted to try this time was laser transfer for image transfer on the gel plate. Some of you may recognise this picture from before. This is my nan and granddad when they got married. And I wanted to try and recreate this picture um, kind of in this style. I have done um, a print of this before in that style but what I actually did was I drew them in Posca pen now I like using that technique I don't really feel like it quite captured exactly what I wanted to do with their picture because obviously it's very sentimental I did like the end result but um, I really would love to just sort of capture this as it is and then build up on the background so um, what I'm going to do is just transfer it across the plate I'm really hoping it works because I've just read uh, recently somebody um, did get supposedly laser transfer and it didn't work even though it's worked for them in the past so I'm hoping um, especially because this is quite high con bleh, get my words out especially because this is quite high contrast that it will actually take so if I printed this picture in inkjet it wouldn't work at all um, it's basically the laser transfer or the laser print um, is a good resist basically so it will allow um, you to pull like you would from a magazine whereas if you use the inkjet then the paint is just going to literally soak into your page and give you nothing back so I'll, I'm going to give it a try I've got my gel press plate as always now what I've done so basically I took some pictures to my local copy shop so I actually have some work on acetate here, well, some photos on acetate from some stuff that I did in uni years back. Um, but this is actually a photo that I got um, them to photocopy for me on a laser printer, basically. So we'll see how it goes. So I've got a couple of copies because I thought I'd be safe, just in case it is a complete disaster. So I have other pictures that I wanted to use, but they're not quite as high contrast some of them so what i thought i'd do is try this one first but what i'm going to use as a base is the one that always works for me which is the liquitex Payne's gray heavy body um now if this doesn't work then i'm not i don't think i'm going to try it again for now i'm thinking it's going to be more likely the photo or the transfer that is causing the problem so keep your fingers crossed for me guys and i'm just going to lay down some black now what I always say is um, you want to be able to sort of have a semi-opaque layer. So you want to be able to see through it slightly, not completely, and it needs to be smooth. What I've just done is I've just ordered myself a bigger plate in the hope that this works. I've ordered myself a bigger plate than this. This is your 9x12. I've gone for a 12x14 on order. Um, and what I've done is also bought myself a much wider brayer. Now I have got a wider brayer than this, but... Um, it's got some inks and stuff on it at the moment. I'm a bit worried it might cause problems. So, um, I decided to just use this one again. So, I'm just kind of keep rolling over it just to try and get a smooth, a smooth layer. And then I will just pull out an old piece of paper here just to bray her off. Um, and now I think we've probably taken too much up I'm just roll it that way a little bit so if you can see you can see quite quite a bit through some of those areas so I'm just going to add a little bit more and that's just because I probably shouldn't have took that bit off a minute ago so I'm just going to go back over try and make sure it's nice and even and make sure you're not getting any bits on there like I just did so that could cause problems make sure you're not missing that okay and I'm gonna say it's a fine line guys <laughs> I don't want to ruin it I'm a bit nervous about this one which is why I'm probably overthinking this but I think we're probably about ready about there so we're looking fairly smooth if you can see any really obvious lines just go back and try and bray them out yeah okay wish me luck see how it goes so obviously it's very square picture well rectangular picture at the moment which I'm just gonna lay it in the middle we'll give it a rub 
Now again, this is, like I said last time when I did my image transfer, it's a bit like a Goldilocks moment. You don't want to be pressing down too hard, you don't want to be pressing down too lightly. So it's like laying the paint down as well. It's very much Goldilocks, it's got to be just right. So it's all about experimentation, yeah? So I'm just going to give it a bit more of a rub. I'm not going to do it for too long. Okay, and we'll hope... No, it's not taken. It is just taking it all off completely. So this, probably I would say in this case, there's, t there's not enough toner on that picture, basically. So that's a fail, I'm afraid. Let's see if I can get some more of this off. So this is tricky, isn't it? It's going to be, I mean, the lady that I saw post earlier on the Gelatin Print of Enthusiast page, she actually said she used to get a supplier, um, printed it for her, and it worked every time, or it worked a lot for her. Now she's had a new one, she's tried, she, they closed, she's got a new supplier, doesn't work. So, you know, what do you do in that situation? It's just a bit of a disappointment, isn't it, really? Now, I've got this one. I might just try this one. This is quite high contrast. Obviously, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work anyway. Let's just give it a go. Do this one this way around. And we'll see. This is my last attempt, guys. If this one doesn't work, then it's a no-go. It's a shame, though, because obviously, you know, I know a lot of people actually want to use their own images rather than just magazine images, so... And I do as well. I mean, you know, if it's your own images or if it's old family photos, um, you know, you know you're going to be sort of okay with copyright and things like that. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit of a shame if it doesn't work. I'm just going to try a bit of a thinner layer this time. And we'll give it another go. So, again, same printing shop. Just going to lay it down. Give it a rub. There's a lot of white on this one, so, you know, there won't be as much, it uh, doesn't need to be as much that's actually pulled, but let's have a go, see if it's, oh, this one is, this one is actually taking better, I can kind of see something there, well, let's just, uh, just give it a go, maybe I did actually, no. You can see really faintly. So basically, what that says to me is there is nowhere near enough toner on that. Now, I did see some people suggest that um, you could get the people at the shop, the printing shop, to get more tone, either print it darker, but then you might lose all your contrast, so that's a bit tricky. But also, you can print in colour... Um, and then obviously you can still pull in black or Payne's grey so it won't be in colour but if you print in colour I've heard that the actual toner is richer so it, it, and it or, or it's a different consistency so it hopefully will you know pull successfully on a colour print so that is probably what I'll do guys can you just see there's just like really really faint you probably can't to be honest but there's like really faint markings. I can just about see my great grandma's hair there and a part of their clothes. So what I might do is just pull this and see what I get. I mean, this looks quite interesting for something for maybe like a junk journal or something. I mean, you can't really see them very well, but you know, if you want to go for something like that, you could always draw around them and you know, draw maybe kind of quick, messy lines, grungy lines in white Posca to do something with that. I don't often, I, 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 I'm going to put this on as a sort of fail video for you. I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to go and get this, this sort of sorted. So I'm going to put it on as a bit of a fail. Um, and then obviously it just shows you what you've got to look out for when you go to that copy shop. Um, so let's just lay a little bit more down. Oh, I'm so sorry guys. I really wanted to, I really wanted that one to be successful, you know. 
You can't win them all though, can you? That's too much on there, so I'm just going to move that all. You can just sort of about see something. You can just see bits in the background. I don't know how well that's going to pull anyway, but I've got... Um, I've got some uh, new Lavinia Multifarious card, which is my absolute favourite to to pull with. I mean, if I was just using acrylics, I, I really favour rice paper. But you know, this this if there's something I can get, this will pull it up because it's stronger. It's got more give because it's thicker. And you can leave things to dry on there for longer. So obviously if I want that to dry a bit more, I can leave that for a couple of minutes. It'll still pull off fine. You might have the odd tiny tear here and there, but that adds, adds to the grungy effect. So, I'm <laughs> really sorry about that, guys. You know, I was ever so excited. I've got all these nice prints. And then it's like, it doesn't work. But that's life, isn't it? So I hope you don't mind <clears throat> me doing a sort of fail, epic fail process every little helps though doesn't it you know everybody's experience helps others so so i'm going to pull that and you can see look the numbers come out quite well you can just see the faint outline of them so that to me suggests we definitely need more toner on there I quite like that. I mean, I'll probably use that as, you know, in a journal piece or something. Um, very sort of ethereal, but not what I wanted. Okay, I decided to have one more go with this picture of my dad when he was little. Got quite a lot of high contrast. I'm going to go for it, guys. You never know. You never know. Okay, I need to get some more Payne's Grey soon as well. Uh, just get just a bit of another colour, bit of olive on there that I just used. Um, speaking of olive, um, really sad to hear about the uh, actress that played Olive in On the Buses. If anybody's a fan of that, um, it's on quite a lot in the UK because it's a UK series or an old UK series, but. So sad to hear that the uh, actress died in a in a fire. So I, um, she was in her eighties, bless her, because it's like I say, it's a series from a long time ago, but still had rerun all the time over here. That was really sad. Couldn't believe it. So rest in peace. Um, right. I think her name was Anna in real life. So rest in peace, Anna. Okay, we're going to go for it. We've got this image of my dad. I'm going to lay it down. We'll see what we get. It would be nice if it, if it does take. I'm going to go a little bit lighter on it. We'll see. We, uh, I'm just going to do a bit more and then check on it. I'm not worried if I haven't got the whole lot in there. Oh, this is turning out, actually... A little bit better guys yes so you can just sort of see my dad there and the um, Belisha beacon I think they're called so I think what I'm going to do is pull that one let's let it dry first though that's important I'm going to let it dry you just about see look it's hard because you've got all the stuff going on in the background but in the middle there you can just about see my dad and there's the uh, the Belisha beacon there's the cross in there look so basically it's going to be I mean the question is do I just pull it now um do I wait for it to dry problem is I've left it too long now I think so I don't want to ruin it by you know it not coming up at all now so it's one of those things isn't it it's awkward you've got to make that split second decision how are you going to pull it so I think I'm going to let that dry do you know what? I think I'm going to do it in olive. I'm just going to go for it. Let's try it. And it did, it did pull the whole print really well in the olive. When I did this, this actual pull here, which was just to clean my plate, basically. So that also impresses me. So it should get 
all of this black off in theory. Let's just do it. Let's go for it, guys. Just make sure I've got no black left on here, just to cause confusion. I think that should be okay. Let's go for it. not going to be as uh, detailed as we wanted it to be but ooh, I'm liking it I think we're getting closer aren't we so we've gone from <laughs> thinking it's epic fail to you know we've gone from that to that which is is progress I would say so again that one seemed like it had more toner on to me it was darker darker tones which is why I think it worked. So, what do you think, guys? I'm quite liking it. It's got a very sort of vintagey photo feel, hasn't it? So it's come out really well here on the actual lines. Contrast is key, isn't it? So if you've got something that's very high contrast, it's gonna and, and with a lot of toner, it's gonna work. But I do like that olive that I used. And we'll just see what we get. Definitely like the way that olive looks against the Payne's Grey. I think that's really nice. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Payne's Grey is a lovely colour if you don't just want that real black black, isn't it? It's, um, it's like a kind of really navy black. Right. I'm not, I'm purposefully not kind of doing the whole of the area. I'm going to go for it again and hope that I can kind of capture them both. Let's go for it about there. And I'm pressing on lightly. I'm not pressing on too hard. And I'm not going to do everywhere. I'm just going to do where I think, roughly where I think they are. Okay. Not all of Grandad's face has come out, but as you can see, it's better this time. There's my Grandad's face and there's my Grandma's face. So the key is, if you press on really hard, not going to get anywhere. So we've learned that from this lesson as well. So the key, it's always good to learn from it. It's the first time I did it and I thought I could just treat it like I did the magazine transfer. But obviously you can't, you need to press on a lot lighter. But I still think part of the issue is the toner, isn't it? If you get, if you, you need as much toner on there as you can. And then a light rubbing is what I would suggest. It may not work for you, it may not work for me again. But we've had some, a little bit more success than we originally thought we were going to end up with when we were just going to leave it. So... Obviously, I'm going to leave it to dry a little bit longer. I'm just going to lay this buff down. This was a couple of the prints that I did in my actual basic image transfer from a magazine. So I've got just like a standard pool there with the buff in the background. And then this one was um, a bit more complex. We did a, an image transfer there. And then I've built it up with acrylic, uh, not acrylic, sorry, alcohol inks, uh, pigment inks, using stamps, embossing plates and all sorts on that. So that's an interesting video if you want to try something a bit different for your image transfer as well. But I wanted to obviously see how well the laser transfer worked. Now what I was originally going to do was I was going to do an embellished one like this using my, image, using my laser transfer, image transfer, but because it's not taken as well, 
I'm going to leave that for another time. So I want to make sure I've got that real full on toner on there so I can get at least a pull, you know, a little bit more like this one, that amount of um, actual depth and um, ink going on there. Yeah, so. So maybe another time if we've managed to sort out that other printing solution. Well, not solution, but, you know, another printer that can do that for us. So here we go. Now, actually, I'm pretty pleased with that, considering what we thought we were going to end up with. I'm pretty pleased with that. So, um, I love it. It, it. it reminds me of, like, maybe an old picture that's kind of got worn away. Maybe it's had some sort of, you know, it's been rained on or it's... Um, had some sort of solvent put on it and it's kind of started to fade away so yeah i'm actually really liking that one and i love the way the buffs pulled off the plate as well i think that's worked really nicely so i'd say from what we thought was epic failure to you know pretty fairly successful not not 100 percent, but we've we've given it a good go and we know we know how we can help ourselves now don't we Anyway, I've, I've babbled on far too much, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed this video and I do hope you've learned something from it or you can take something from it. If you have, please give it a like. That helps spread it around YouTube a little bit more. Anyway, I'd love it if you subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to do so, if you click my profile picture top left there and hit the bell and all notifications, that'll let you know whenever I've got a new video coming out. Um, bottom there is that link is the um, the other video that I talked to you about, which was the image transfer with the two prints I just showed you. Please do go check that out if you haven't already. And I should have another video up for you real soon. So hope you get some crafting time in this week as well, guys. And take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.